This is your Monix Metals Market Update with Mike Maroney. Good afternoon, my name is Mike Maroney and I'm coming to you today from the Monex Precious Metals Studio. It's June 1st and we have a lot to talk about as far as the precious metals markets are concerned. Over the last three months in both gold and silver, we've been trading in a fairly tight channel. Silver has been trading between the low end of the spectrum, down around 16 to 1610, and the higher end of the spectrum up around $16.80 to $17. On the higher end, we actually had a three-day spike all the way up to about $17.40, but we weren't able to hold that long, and since then, we've backed off and have had a hard time getting back above the 200-day moving average, which sits at $16.80. What we're looking for in silver is for the market to continue to put in a base and we wouldn't be surprised if we were extremely fortunate and this market in a very short term fashion took out the recent lows, traded down somewhere in the 1575 to 1585 range and then the buyers come out of the woodwork and we see a spike back to the upside and then we see what silver can do as far as the fourth quarter and the first quarter of 2019 is concerned. In the gold market, gold has been able to hold fairly strong with a 1280 support. The 100 day moving average and the 200 day moving average at 1307 and 1326 now become short term resistance. A lot of people are looking at gold as a quality safe haven, especially when you consider all the things that are happening around the world. But the US dollar, as you know, has been extraordinarily strong. So it's somewhat put a cap on things as far as gold is concerned. And the dollar may continue to strengthen for another couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months. And what this may do is give us a tremendous buying opportunity in gold down around 1265, 1275. Don't know if we'll get that low, but we believe the end of this year and the beginning of next year, the reality is going to start to set in. Interest rate increases will be off the table and the US dollar will be dropping back down into what we believe will be the inevitable abyss and gold will potentially take out that flat top triangle that we have in place at 1370 and then we'll really see what the potential for gold is. In the other products we have the PGMs and platinum has been trading also in a very tight channel 885 lows 1020 1040 highs we're now down in the lower end of the spectrum people are a little bit worried because of the trade war um, aluminum steel prices could be going up, so car prices could be going up, and we're starting to hear tariffs on Mercedes and everything else, even though I'm not sure if Trump realizes that most of these foreign cars are actually built here in the United States, but things could get interesting as far as car demand is concerned, probably affects palladium more than platinum, because platinum is mainly diesel oriented, but uh, platinum has kind of backed off as being a precious metal and has become more of a noble metal and continues to trade in a tight range. Whereas palladium, 880 low end of the spectrum, uh, currently testing 1,000. We think it's probably gonna trade between 850 and 1150. So if you can buy it at the lower end of the range, you're gonna do very well. We've got the Fed coming up on the 12th and the 13th of this month. A lot of people think they're gonna acquiesce and maybe not talk as tough about interest rates. Don't think that's gonna happen. We're gonna see a rate increase and potentially they're gonna talk a little bit more hawkish and maybe we won't see those increases but they can start to talk tough. We've got a lot happening in the precious metals in the next few months. So continue to tune in and we'll keep you filled in and hopefully you'll be able to buy low and sell high. Give us a call. Thank you.